All right, stop, 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 stop. Dex, chill, Dex, chill, relax, dude, relax. What are you doing? It's boom, cha-cha, not that. Get it right, dude, come on. Don't tell me how to live my life. Do you guys even care about the band? Do you even care about the music? I care, Jake. I care, Jake. All right, listen up. I've got big plans for the band, okay? First things first is we're gonna get you guys some real instruments. Yeah! <laughs> Finally. I've also done some research online. We can move out to LA, rent an apartment, get a legit Hollywood recording studio session, cut a demo CD, shop it around to the record labels, and then the big time. <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood! Movie stars! Beaches! Disney World! Hey, listen up. I'm serious about this, all right? This isn't some weekend road trip to L.A., dude. If our band wants to make it big, we have to have focus, hard work, and ambition. Comprende? All right, well then how are you gonna pay for this little adventure, senor? My grandpa gave me 5,000 bucks. Five large to move to L.A.? <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, well, not exactly. He gave it to me for educational purposes. Oh. My folks think that I'm going out there for community college, so keep it on the down low. Yo, Jake. Hello, anybody home? Is that your dad? Kind of sounded like him. Pretend like we're studying or something. <clears throat> oh man, I forgot what a dump this apartment was. Gosh. Uh, Dad, what are you wearing? Those pants are super lame. Yeah, well they're cool where I come from. Uh, Dex, studying? Really? Yeah? You never even earned GED, bro. Wow, don't be such a hater, Mr. Helton. Oh my gosh, a, a MacBook Pro. Yeah, I remember that dinosaur. You literally bought this two months ago. Oh, Starla Farnsworth. Yeah, I forgot how hot you are. Oh, uh, this is getting weird. Yeah, man, this is real creepy. Dad, what is going on? Wake up, man. I'm not your dad. I'm you. Plus mileage. <laughs> no way. Way. Prove it. Prove it? Okay. Grandpa's 5,000 bucks isn't being used for educational purposes, is it? You two went to the state fair last night, got these cheesy little matching heart tattoos. Bad choice. And you still sleep with your teddy bear. No! You told him about Mr. Cuddles? I thought I could trust you. Okay, how do you know all this? How is this happening? Through some cosmic whatever, I'm here from the future. You in 30 years. But... You look just like my dad. Oh. <laughs> so you're telling me that I'm gonna end up looking just like my dad? With the gut? Hey. And the wrinkles? Hey. And the, the bald spot? Okay, thinning, mm. all right? Not bald, thinning. Someone's a little sensitive, huh? <laughs> okay, so why are you here? I'm here for an intervention. Apparently in the future, we become so thick-headed, we won't take advice from anybody. Not from our family, not from our shrink, not from our son. I have a son? So listen, last night I'm, I'm sitting in my big L.A. mansion all alone, realizing how empty my life had become. Having one of those, if I only knew then what I know now, kind of epiphanies. And I had this kind of weird vision of the past and the future. It was like a near-death experience, except without the death. And then I'm praying for the first time in a long time that I could just go back and have a second chance, make things right, and here I am. Okay, hold up, though. Fear from the future, and who wins the next Super Bowl? <laughs> Duh, the Cardinals. Are you serious? Yep. Oh, oh yeah, my bets are finally gonna come through. Ooh. Okay, who's the next president? And please tell me it is a woman. It is. Hillary. Yeah, Jan Brewer. What? I know. <laughs> Wait, who's the next rock star? I'm looking at him. Oh, Jack. Dude, that means we make it big. No, you make it huge. Oh, yes. Yes. All right, check it out. This is how it goes down. You guys move to L.A., you cut the demo, but none of the record labels are interested. So you're playing in some dive one night, and one of your groupies records you on her cell phone, uploads it to YouTube, it goes viral. You guys are poof, overnight sensations. <laughs> then what? Oh, don't tell me we become a one-hit wonder. No, because my music is awesome, right? Right. 
Pretty soon you guys are touring worldwide with Coldplay, Maroon 5. You win a couple of Grammy Awards. You're on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine. You got jets, mansions, nonstop parties. It is sex, drugs, and rock and roll, baby. Oh, do I have my own reality show? Do I get on MTV Cribs? Who cares about that, man? Am I respected as an artist? Does my music change the world? Yeah, you could say that. I knew it! Until your girlfriend gets pregnant. What? Oh, shake up. Baby. Uh, it wasn't you, honey. We were dating an L.A. Lakers dancer at the time. Yeah, you decided to run off with one of the guys from One Direction. Oh, really? Which one? Harry, Liam, Zane? Actually, over the next 20 years, all three. You divorce one, marry another. It was really kind of weird, Starla. Wait, so I'm, I'm respected in the music industry, right? Well, yeah, until the inevitable creative differences splits up the band. Okay, but none of that really matters because we also have millions, right? Uh, had, until you bought into some bogus investments and then you wasted the rest on your gambling addiction and then you tried to sue me for song rights, you little creep. You're always trying to ride on my coattails. Ah, uh, man, I, I think I'm gonna go. <laughs> Okay, do the Cardinals really win the Super Bowl? Yep. <laughs> the Arizona Cardinals. <laughs> really? No. I just wanted that clown to blow his money on a dumb bet. So, um, I think I better be going to. Jake, sorry for whatever happens to us. So where do we go wrong? Our son, Tyler. Yeah, you spent most of his life hell-bent on your own success. And now he's just like another trophy in your display case, just hoping to get your attention. Hey, man, I won't make that mistake, all right? As soon as I get established, I'll make sure I have time yeah, for him. Yeah, you're going to be surprised at how much your ambition blinds you. I mean, it happens to all kinds of people, doctors, teachers, politicians, preachers, soccer moms, rock stars. They get consumed, they lose their way. I mean, look at us, we gain everything, but it's vanity, man, it is worthless. Dude, don't come in here and give me this stupid guilt trip, all right? You were just weak. You know what? <laughs> You're right, I was weak. But now I'm finally ready to be honest. Listen, you remember what Grandpa told us when he gave us that money, huh? Don't let your talent take you where your character cannot keep you. But we're successful. But we are selfish. Does Grandpa find out about the money? Yeah. And it breaks his heart. But we never get a chance to make amends before he passes away. Listen, we spent the best years of our life working on stuff that, that doesn't mean jack. And now I'm a 50-year-old lonely burnout who is begging you, man. Make the right choice now so you can avoid a lifetime of regret. Think twice. Save us. Save our son. What else am I supposed to do? Do what you love, man. But use your talent and your future for something bigger than just your own ego. That way, maybe someday, your music could change the world. <laughs>